After four weeks, the trial of Richard Aguirre is now officially over. He's accused of killing Ruby Doss back in 1986. Crum 2 Shannon Mowdy spent the entire day in the courtroom and has the final arguments from both sides. Well, the argument for much of today and throughout this entire trial has centered around DNA evidence. Prosecutors say Aguirre's DNA was found on a condom decades after Doss's death, linking him to the crime. But Aguirre's defense team, including with their only witness, argue that DNA is unreliable. Defense attorney Karen Linholt argues investigators contaminated the evidence like a condom by handling items without gloves. But prosecutors say there's no testimony to support evidence was touched with bare hands. And the state says DNA wasn't the only thing pointing to Aguirre as Doss's killer. That he had hit a woman, that he had choked a woman, but she was alive when I left. Your Honor, the very same injuries that Mr. Aguirre described to Lawrence Cole are consistent with the exact injuries or primarily consistent with the injuries that Dr. Veena Singh said led to Miss Doss's death. Anna Wilson testified that she found unknown individuals partial profiles on Ms. Doss's clothes. They didn't put the partial profiles in a CODIS. Had they done that, maybe we wouldn't be sitting here with Mr. Aguirre on trial for murder that he didn't commit. Now this is a bench trial, meaning a judge will make the final ruling on Aguirre's guilt or his innocence. And we are expecting the judge to issue that ruling very soon, December 26th. Shannon Mowdy, Crumb 2 News.